Further then, with Georgina Bennett. Good morning. Well, we can look forward to what will probably be the warmest day this week today, and it should be a dry one as well with some sunny spells. There are a few showers to the west of us, but it doesn't look like they're going to trickle in to our area. So we've got a fairly decent day ahead of us. That cloud's probably going to bubble up a little as we head towards the afternoon, but temperatures not too shabby with highs in the mid 20s, possibly getting to 26 degrees Celsius. Now, as we head towards this evening, it looks like it's going to be staying dry through the night. Some clear spells but not too chilly, not too uncomfortable. Lows of about 15 degrees Celsius, possibly getting down to closer to 13 in more rural parts. Now, tomorrow, a very different day altogether, though. A fair amount of cloud around, and it looks like we should have some showery bits and pieces coming in, and some of those could be fairly heavy. Now, as is the nature of showers, not all of us will see them, but it's certainly going to be a much greyer day than today, and the knock-on effect, those temperatures suffer a little with highs of 23 degrees Celsius, though, so still fairly mild. Now, Thursday, well, it's not looking too bad altogether. We could have one or two showers around, but sunny spells in between. But there is a little bit of uncertainty for Friday. It does look like we'll have a bit more in the way of cloud, perhaps some showers in the afternoon, but clearing in time for the weekend. Right, that's it from us for now. We're back in half an hour. Don't forget, you can always get the latest news, travel and weather on our website. But we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Right, let's get a check on the weather now with Georgina Burnett. Good afternoon. We continue with what will probably be the most pleasant day of the week this week. So we're holding on to those sunny spells and it should continue to be quite warm as well. Now, there may be a bit of cloud bubbling up as we head into the afternoon, but that shouldn't uh, spoil a decent end to the day with temperatures up to 24, possibly 25 degrees Celsius if we get enough sunshine in the right spot. And it continues to be dry through the night for many of us with some clear spells, fairly mild. Those temperatures getting down to about 15 degrees Celsius across the board, perhaps closer to 13 or 14 in more rural areas. Bit of change for tomorrow. It starts off okay, but we've got quite a lot of cloud building through the day ahead of a line of showers that pushes its way eastwards. Now, uh, there are going to be some heavy ones within that and uh, in between some glimpses of sunshine, but certainly not quite the day that we're having today with highs of 21 or 2 degrees Celsius. And that should uh, leave the east coast by late afternoon. And then Thursday, we're back to sunny spells once more, maybe one or two showers around. Bit of a chilly night on Thursday night and then there's some uncertainty for Friday. It looks like it starts off okay but by the afternoon we're seeing a lot more cloud and perhaps some rain as well. Quite a breezy start to Saturday but that rain should be clearing just leaving us with one or two residual showers in the afternoon as high pressure starts to build though feeling a bit more pleasant. So through the week we've got those temperatures gradually working their way down to the teens back up to the 20s for the weekend. Right, that's about it from me for now. Louisa Preston will be here with our 6.30 evening programme. As always, of course, plenty more news, travel and weather on our website. But for now, from all of us here, whatever you're doing, do have a lovely afternoon. Bye for now.